Hope I catch a million dollars. Can we go fishing too? Ye cats, the beagle boys. The beagle boys have discovered my money. They'll be coming in here with tanks and helicopters and hauling it away. Ah, uh, simmer down. They can't rob you that openly. It's against the law. But they'll figure out some way to get my money. They'll keep coming at me till they wear me out. Don't leave me, boys. You have to stay and help me save my money again. Once more around the merry-go-round. It isn't long before they get an inkling of the Beagle Boy's strategy. Look in the morning paper, Uncle Scrooge. The Beagle Boys have bought all the land down the creek. Oh, my stars, that means they're going to try to break my dam. Load the cannons, man the radar scope, be ready for anything. Yes, sir, even the geography is against Uncle Scrooge. All this lush bottom land now belongs to the Beagle Boys. The Beagle Boys strike first through the air. Oh my gosh, Uncle Scrooge, what's that? Balloons trailing some kind of glass. It's a giant sunglass setting fire to the timbers of the dam. Donald, what are you waiting for? Shoot! Boom! Crash! That ends that scheme. Oh, Uncle Scrooge. What is it, Dewey? I was fishing and I caught a fish that was trying to jump through the water gate. I told you to be guarding, not fishing. Throw the fish back in. But Uncle Scrooge, this fish ticks. Tick, tick, tick. Oh my stars, the Beagle Boys had loaded him with a bomb. Tick, 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 boom. Chase all the fish back down the creek and put a net across. Uncle Scrooge, they're sending trained cormorants to dive down and swipe your money. They'll never get rich that way. There's a dirtier scheme afoot. Don't watch the cormorants. They are leaving, Louis. Watch the ones that are coming. I don't see what you mean, Uncle I see what you mean, Uncle Scrooge. Here comes some with napalm bombs. Twit, jabber, quack, honk, honk. They turned around. They're going back. Yes, I told them to. I know cormorant language. I trained thousands of them when I was a pearl trader in Asia. Whoosh! They dropped them on the Beagle Boys. Yes, I told them to do that too. Don't stand around rubbing your burnt spots. Get going on plan four. One look at those clouds up there, I can tell what their fourth try will be. Donald, fasten one end of this copper wire to a cannonball and shoot a line of it into the Beagle Boys' dooryard. Boom! Huey, run to the cabin and bring the tallest lightning rod you can find. I hear airplanes, Uncle Scrooge. Yes, the Beagle Boys are up there seeding the clouds. They're trying to start a lightning storm because they know my money will draw lightning. But that lightning rod will keep any bolts from breaking my dam. Meow. And there you see what the copper wire was for. That old fox. He outsmarts us at every turn. He's just been lucky so far. We'll get the best of him yet. I'll say we will. That flag on the laboratory says number 176840 has perfected plan 5, our secret weapon. Inside the laboratory, these are the new super species I developed. They look like beetles. Yes, they look like beetles. But ha, once we get them into old Scrooge's hands, his dam is doomed. Swell. Now according to plan 5, we plant a story in the morning paper. Next morning, ye cats, it says here that wooden dams are ideal places for termites. I hadn't thought of termites. I bet there's millions of them eating up those timbers. Donald, 
you got to go into town and buy something, anything, to drive out my termites. Just like that, Uncle Scrooge has fallen into the Beagle Boy's trap. Great new bug destroys termites. Well, isn't that handy? Yes, sir. Put these beetles to work in your timbers and they'll eat up the termites in no time. I'll buy the whole bunch. I still don't get this plan, Five. What are those bugs that look like beetles? Termites, you dummy. A new kind of super termites. So, you go to work, little buggy wuggies. Watch them bore into those timbers. Hey, they're eating wood. Are they supposed to do that? No, this note I found in the bottom of the jar explains everything. We'll start spending your money in the morning. Thanks for planting our super termites, the Beagle Boys. I've been swoggled. Through the night, the rival camps labour to meet the catastrophe. All those spreading basins all through these sloughs. Right 176838. Here, a new sprayer mixed up, Donald. See if it will drive out those beagle bugs. Too late, Uncle Scrooge. The timbers are like sieves. And the termites are increasing. They're having families every four minutes. Cut down trees will put up new braces faster than they can cut the old ones. Nope, I guess that's only wishful thinking. Just before daybreak. Get out of the canyon. The center stringer is giving way. And there goes the main brace. Crack. Come on, Uncle Scrooge. Help us roll boulders into the creek. I can't, Donald. I'm too tired to fight any longer. Rumble, pop. Run for your life. The dam is going out. Like distant thunder, isn't it? Or firecrackers on the 4th of July. Roar! Roll them dollars down. And so, looks like the flood did us Beagle Boys good. Yes, I'd say our soil has been greatly enriched. I'm broke. My whole fortune went down the creek. But you can get it back. After all, we do have laws. That's just the trouble. Under the law of floods, laws of floods and debris, the money now belongs to the Beagle Boys. And they all they have to do is go to court and claim the money as silt, deposited on, on their land by the flood. Ye cats! Scrooge McDuck is no longer the richest man in the world. Us Beagle Boys is the richest. Listen to them bragging down there, bragging because they outsmarted Scrooge McDuck. I'm only an old man. I guess too old to keep up with the new tricks. Just a poor old man that remembers the old tricks. Yes, I remember the old tricks like the time in Baghdad. Well, never mind. Let's go down and congratulate my new rich neighbours. I'd congratulate them with a box of spoiled eggs. Uncle Scrooge is up to something. Hadn't we better go into town and file a claim on this money? Yeah, but... Wait, here comes old Scrooge. Let's see what's on his mind. Boys, I came to offer my best regards. You outsmarted me and did it fair. You mean you ain't mad at us? Certainly not. I admire brains and you boys have got them. I had brains too in the old days. But now I've got a head like a soft tomato. <laughs> Could you find it in your hearts to grant a poor old man one little favour? Well, maybe. It's just that I'd like to have one last swim in this money before you haul it away. You swim in that stuff? Every day for years it's the only pleasure I've ever had. Well, if that ain't one for the book, go right ahead. Zoom. If I didn't see it, I wouldn't believe it. Watch how I dive around in it like a porpoise. And see how I borrow through it like a gopher. And toss it up and let it hit me on the head. Say, that looks like it'll be fun. It is. It's your money now. 
Why don't you dive into it and learn how to enjoy it? The old boy's got something there. Last one in's an honest man. Zoom. Crack. How odd. The beagle boys bounced like they'd hit a solid wall. And feels like those heads. And feel those heads like soft tomatoes. They'll be unconscious for weeks, months, and to think. It happened to them before they could get to court and claim my money. Tisk tisk. Uncle Scrooge, how come you dived all the way from the bluff and you didn't get hurt? Well, I'll admit it's a trick. Let's get all let's get bulldozers and trucks and haul this money back to my land. Heidi ho. So Uncle Scrooge gets all his money back and things are again as they were. If you don't mind, Uncle Scrooge, the kids and I would like to get paid off now and go home. Oh no, not yet. I hadn't found time to tell you what a comfort you'd get.